everybody! I'm here to review um, my first ever Lit Monthly subscription. I'm really, really excited about it. I've been getting Ipsy for about two years, almost two years, and the best part of my month is opening up my mailbox to find my, uh, my monthly subscription, my glam bag, or what have you. Um, and I came across Lit Monthly pretty much by accident. I was just kind of surfing around and I found... Uh, found just an ad for it or someone had mentioned it in their online blog or Pinterest or something. I can't really remember how I found it, but um, I'm really glad that I did. So it came this morning. It came in a little white mailer, not like the pink Ipsy mailer, but it doesn't matter because it all just ends up in the garbage anyway. And um, I live in Canada. I live in Newfoundland, which is the most east easternmost point of Canada so it takes a little longer to get to me and um, I also pay a shipping I think in the United States you get shipping for free um, but even with shipping it only ends up being about fifteen dollars um, which is comparable to Ipsy usually seventeen sometimes twenty depending on what the exchange rate is um, so fifteen dollars a month totally perfect amazing amazing price for what you get um, and so I'm just going to show you what I got. So I opened my mailer and inside was this, uh, very, very large, well, large-ish, um, clutch makeup bag. Um, it's orange and purple with a really cute brocade and then it's got the Lit Monthly logo on it and I really really like them um, if you get Ipsy you know that there's 101 uses for your makeup bags I use mine for clutches when I go out in the evening I use them for traveling I'm a burlesque performer so I do like to use them when I pack my show bags I have one for pasties I have one for all my makeup I have one for my accessories that kind of thing um, so the fact that this one's a little larger than what I usually get is awesome. Uh, it's a great quality. It's a really nice um, and waterproof on the inside. So let's see what we have in here. Uh, first of all, you get your Lit Monthly month card. Um, and it just says February 2015, which is what it is currently. And on the back is a list of all of the products you receive. Uh, this bag is not personalized, which is not a problem. Well, I didn't find it to be an issue because you kind of get a wider variety of things that you might not try or colors that you might not try. Um, and you get a good bang for your buck regardless. So this one is... Um, it's nice to see the cost of all of your items. So the first thing was the Cargo um, eyeshadow. It's a single uh, solo eyeshadow. It's really, really nicely pigmented. It's a great color. It comes in the color Flint. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's in a metal uh, container. It's quite large, as you can see, and it's a nice kind of charcoal color. It's a little blown out there, but I have it in my creases right now. It's good for a smoky eye, but that's the that's the charcoal-y color, and it's really, really nice. Like I said, heavily pigmented. It's got good uh, buildability. I really enjoy it. I'm usually... Don't do it darker, but... I do have sort of a smoky eye thing on the go today. Um, it's good for an evening look. And the packaging is really nice, really um, kind of classy looking. Uh, so next one is the Jelly Ping Pong Supermodel, um, Supermodel Stain. It's a lip and cheek pomade. So... This one is the most expensive thing on the list, or in the bag. The packaging is really cute. It's, uh, it's sweet looking. It's very candy colored. It's cruelty free and uh, doesn't contain any nasty things. No parabens, no... nothing like that. So it is um, very friendly, very user friendly. It's a uh, quad, so it has, hang on, get the glare off, it has four different, 
ones there's a coral, there's a very soft light pink, there's a pinky red, and then there's a fuchsia. And uh, the spreadability is interesting. I did use the coral one on, sorry, I did use the coral one on my cheeks. And then I'll see if I can swatch some of them for you there. They're a little kind of pasty, I guess. So I feel like you would need to kind of warm them up to get them. So that's some of the colors. They're, uh, it's cute. I feel like I need to explore it a little more on first glance, even though it's the most expensive one in the pack. I would say that it's kind of a little bit, feels a little cheapy, but I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Maybe uh, with a couple of uses, I'll kind of get used to it um, and find some interesting ways to apply it. But personally, with some of that color palette, I'm not too sure what I would use it for, but I'm sure I'll find something. So the next one is a Bee Bombshell lip gloss which uh, I'm familiar with Be A Bombshell. I get it all the time in my Ipsy. I generally really like it. It's a little bit of a cheaper brand um, cost-wise, but I do find that a lot of their stuff I really enjoy. And this one is really nice, actually. Um, it's kind of a weird orangey, reddish thing, but it's a lip gloss but it's creamy and thick. It, it is a little, little orangey, um, but the applyability is really nice. It goes on really smooth. It's not crazy sticky, which is generally what I absolutely hate about, about lip glosses is they can get really sticky. So this one is pretty good. Um, the color is not one that I would usually choose for myself, but I do like it as kind of a toned down color. Uh, so I gotta say, I'm, I'm liking this one so far. I'm never disappointed with Be A Bombshell. It is what it is. Um, I'm never, like, shocked that it's awful, which is, which is good. Um, and then finally, my favorite thing in the bag is the So Susan, um, Lip Dome. It's a plumping lip tint, and it is... So good, so good. It's actually the one that I'm wearing. It comes in a color called Black Current, and uh, it's like a purple kind of color. No. So that's the the color there, and it's so nice. It's like a lip stain kind of. Get out of here. It's a lip stain. Uh, lip crayon sort of hybrid. It goes on really smoothly um, and it's light. It's also cruelty free. The packaging is adorable. It's so cute and the the item itself is very uh, very cute and very nice. No, I this one is by far my favorite and definitely uh, it retails for $10 which is a really affordable price if I ever wanted to buy it again. Um, I love the color, love, love, love it. I'm so into the purples, like I'd like to do a little bit more of a gothy look sometimes. Uh, so this one is right up my alley and totally made the whole bag worthwhile for me. Um, get out of here. It's a brand that I didn't know about, uh, and they are really, really excellent. So I, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with it. So yeah, I gotta say, all in all, for the first month of my Lip Monthly, I am super impressed. I love everything that I got. I feel like I'll use everything that I got. I'm a huge. Uh, lip color fanatics, so I feel like it's a wide variety. There's not a lot of repeats. Everything is kind of a, like a different color palette. I like that you do get a few things that aren't specifically lip related, um, but in terms of cost for value, so good. So good. I recommend this to anybody. It's such a fun little thing. Um, like I said, their shipping is great. Their... Um, Everything about it is just really, 
really nice and it comes really quickly even to the far east of Canada. Um, yeah, and so definitely I recommend it. I think they ship to most countries. Um, just check them out. It's www.lipmonthly.com um, and let me know if you guys have any questions or if you want to see anything else from me. I'll be back uh, a little bit later to review my glam bag for this month um, just to let you guys know what I thought about that. But in terms of Lip Monthly, definite would buy. Um, I'm absolutely ecstatic about it. I can't wait to see what next month is like. I'm really excited. Um, so I will be back next month to let you guys know what I thought of next month's. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope it inspired you guys. Um, and just let me know if you want to see or hear anything else from me. So, see ya!